the introduction to Tybot actually came about a, a, quite a while ago. I read an article in ENR machine that they were going to test on uh, some bridge work up north in the Pennsylvania area. It's funny, we had some work coming up in Florida that I thought would be well suited for the use of that type of technology. So at, as, at that time, I was actually looking to reach out and look up that article to figure out you know, what was happening with that, had it made any progress in the, in the market. And at the same time, um, Tybot had showed up at our office in Davie wanting to do a demonstration. It's a kind of a perfect marriage. We, that's all we do is bridges, and this machine was designed specifically to that. Tybot ties in very well with Shelby's vision of the future and embracing technology and, and what's out there. We don't see this as a tool that's going to replace our workforce. We see it as an enhancement to the workforce. Um, we also see it as an answer to some of the current labor shortages, and especially with skilled labor. So this would give us the ability to uh, take the workforce that we have, continue doing the workloads we have, but taking the backbreaking part of the work and replacing it with technology and this robot that ties. Tybot only ties currently with single wire and Florida Department of Transportation work requires double wire. So we had to go meet with uh, DOT and see if we could get some exceptions so that we could introduce this technology in the state of Florida and be able to use on DOT work. The reason you bring a technology like this into the industry, see what you can do to take away some of the hard manual labor work uh, for your workforce make a safer environment for people to work in. You still need iron workers to use Tybot, but that bulk tying is what Tybot takes away.